This this segment of the podcast is brought to you by Young's Bakery, one four five eight three Main Street. Uh, text eight three two eight 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 seven eight five nine to order cake jars, pie jars. We got bakeware. Stay focused, everybody. Text eight three two eight 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 seven eight five nine to order. What uh, what you got going on? You wanna let the folks know what you got? Um, on? this month I got a spring special. It's called Bring a Friend, Bring Your Bestie Lip Filler Special. You each get half syringe of filler for three hundred dollars each. Half syringe is regular price four hundred dollars. So you both getting a hundred dollars savings. So don't miss out. It's going on to the end of this month. Um, you can schedule on different days. Y'all don't have to come together, but whoever's coming at the later date, um, will have to pre-purchase on the day that you're planning on coming, whoever's coming first. Um, but yeah, if you pay in full, y'all can schedule on different days. So yeah, y'all come see me, um, at Loose Lounge, 4801 Woodway Drive, Suite 465E, Houston, Texas, 77056. You can also come see me for your facial at the House of Braves by KAC. What's the one, two, one, four, five, eight, three, South Main Street. <laughs> That's the bacon. Oh, five. You're I five. know. You're I know, five. right? One, four, five, eight, five, five. My bad, y'all. I'm looking at the door. One, four, five. Uh, what's the five, five, right? Yeah. No. Back to the, uh, to the... It is 5-5. Five, five. Okay. So, when do we get somebody in the body suit? You believe that? You believe them body suit? Man, you ever seen one of them prosthetic masks that they be having, them people be making? And, like, just the kind of... You can be somebody else. I'm just saying, like, the, the, yeah, just how, how, how good they are. Yeah. You know, how good, how real they look. They probably be making, you know, they can probably, like, take a skin graft or be using pig skin or something like that. But I'm just saying, when they gonna put somebody in the body, they already probably doing that. An entire that. body. Or uh, whatever. Just I'm just saying, you what put the suit on, the put the president's suit on, huh? I don't know. Probably just the just the face. Yeah, that little they part. Probably, they probably. What you mean when they gonna start doing? They probably already do it. But for a whole term, no. For the whole term, are we gonna get uh, we gonna get Hillary Clinton? She gonna have a Michelle she gonna wear the Michelle face. Obama uh mask, run for president. Or uh, what's got to do it? Nancy Pelosi, she do the wear the body suit, and okay. and well, that way she can go make her another eight hundred million dollars around that month. That bullshit, man. That's really, that's really probably the. Uh, you can't, you can't, you know what I mean? I don't want to say nothing on here. That's why I say it, then stuff go to aging, not okay. age, yeah, aging bad. I really be up in Congress and stuff. You know, then they go to pulling up old and then they Facebook start podcast pro video. Protesting you, trying to cancel you. Yeah, talking about how, how I was in there. Like, talking about, man, that's what we need to do. Get into the politics. Federal politics. See, get us some, uh, anyways. <laughs> I know, right? But, yeah, I, 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 I feel like if, if they got, I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Who knows what the truth is, or what's really a conspiracy today, or what's really the it's truth? It's all a conspiracy. I feel like is the whole thing rigged. I think one of my conspir my biggest conspiracy is we are the real live like live action Sims simulation. We in a simulation. Because, you know, on the Sims, your Sim has free will. You can turn it on and off, though. But you pretty much do you you think create your Sims. Do you think it's one person playing? Or on it's the Sims? A, like, if this is a simulation, right? Like the Sims. If it's like the Sims, then it'd be you and... But I think whether you can play online now, so other people. But before that, it's you and the computer. Because they already got Sims that's there that's doing... Whatever you don't control, what's uh, 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 NPC like the golf, the NPC folks, 
with the non-playable character. But you can if you switch to play with that family. But, you know, you can only be one family at a time. But I'm saying, if we in the simulation, do you think it's like multiple people playing, playing. us? Or if it's one person playing the whole world? One person. Or do you think it's a whole bunch of people playing no, I think it's one person, God. That's why, and He gave us free will, so that's why we just do what we be wanting to do. So you think God just be watching, like for like, what's what they doing? See what we got going, like a like a like a ant farm. Like you play the Sims. Tap the glass and see. I don't know. Because you know when you create your Sim, you pick their aspirations, their goals. Like stuff that they want out of life. Like you try to plan a journey, but once you start playing, you don't have to control what they do. You give them free will and you just kind of guide them along. Like you give them the task to do, like go on a computer, look for a job, and then a different job and start popping up. So, pick a job. Nah, I mean... You can have a family. That's the thing. People always talk about that, too, though. Like, we in a simulation. What's going on? I don't know. I know this. Or unless the aliens playing us. Playing the game. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then it will be multiple people playing, and they just, like, online, if you say. See... My thing for the alien stuff, right? I don't know, man. Because I I feel like if 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 that's what I was t asking my dad one time, I was like, man, if um, what what would it take to make you believe that aliens or anything, them. right? Because um, he he was like, shoot, if it's on the rep, if it's a reputable source that says so, pretty much, man, like if. Fox News or something or CNBC come out and be like, hey, this the new, you know, this the new or whatever. This is what the new truth is. This our new history or something. That's why I say, man, and I think all that shit probably just a bunch of distractions or whatever. Uh, even though, who knows, man? I really don't know. I be sitting here because you just hear. Cause Do anybody? I know, right? Nobody know? never know. You don't never know. They it's just say they know way. and say it with confidence to make everybody else believe that what they saying is true. And we go with it. We roll with it. But let me go on. Let me, let me, let me, because I, I came up with, I had another conspiracy that I thought about. That's really pretty much cliche for the, for the, mm -hmm. uh, for the podcast, for podcast, right? alien talk you got to put throw in some alien talk what right. you think about the alien i don't know what well, i say man probably just just some talk get you distracted from like important shit it is kind of weird though that they start putting all that stuff like in the white house type information white house confirmed this and that and this and this has been you you know all kind of stuff going on i don't know that seemed kind of weird to me, like, you know, but, oh, okay, anyway, the Tubi conspiracy. What's the Tubi conspiracy? When I done been watching, how many Tubi movies you done seen? I remember Tubi was the praise. Know. I feel like, like some I of them, not, I don't even get all the way through some of them I ain't just seen because. Not, I ain't seen one good, I ain't seen not one good thing on Tubi. It don't just be. Nothing. Sometimes do they the be having line, old like the plot? They be having old movie. stuff on them, like uh, regular movies. Yeah, yeah, not to be originals. Man, but either the storyline or the plot, just I don't know. But some of them be okay, and it's the acting that's just so subpar. What's the content conspiracy? Why we can't get nothing good? They done ran out of good stories. Because nobody wants anything good. Everybody just want drama. Because you see, Nick Cannon, just, I think his show, he got a show on Zeus now. He got to be some good drama. They just premiered, and it's Baddies, Natalie Nunn's show, versus 
Jocelyn and her girls. And, and they, they got a fight. they got a clip circulating right now. They talking about Jocelyn Mush uh Natalie. She chin checked her. That was that was more than just a mush. I don't know. Uh but But that's what everybody like to see, so they like this is what we gotta have on everything. It's either that or if it's like a sitcom, everybody gotta cuss. The kids You too. know what Zeus Zeus need? They need a uh, Jerry Springer. The black Jerry Springer. Cause they already had the uh, Hispanic Jerry Springer, Jose Geraldo. Luis. Jose Luis. Uh, now Geraldo was more like I'm gonna say Geraldo is kind of like an Oprah. Mm. I feel like maybe. Well, more like Montel. Remember that black Montel, dude, Montel Williams, uh, Montel Jordan. They used to come on in the afternoon on Bounce. All right, Geraldo was kind of like. Oh man, let me see. But Jose Luis, man, we need a black Jerry Springer on Zeus. Uh oh. Uh, with a ghetto name too. He need to have a uh 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 or man get a make make it one of them uh give him a doctor name. Hell yeah, make him a doctor Muhammad Shabazz, some put that nigga in some in uh in and in, in, uh put that nigga in some uh in some in some uh African garb, the shikis and and all that stuff, just some real I don't know. Hell yeah, the fucking uh uh them 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 nation of Islam hats or whatever a crown. You probably couldn't do that, man. They'll probably they'll pull up on them too, looking like that. Man. Hey, hey, brother, brother, you cannot represent us like this, man. But hell yeah, man, make a motherfucking black uh Jerry Springer. Bring all that rat. They're gonna bring just shit. They have all the, the rat, the lie detectors, tests. Uh, uh, well, they kind of got a, they kind of have, now nah, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't ratchet. Uh, come on, uh, it's a, it's a show, man, where they be unlocking your phone. Karma, karma, karma suit. Kamooch, kabooch, kombucha. It's some man. It come on like early in the morning, like when Sherry Shepard and shit be coming on early, huh? Karamo, yeah, man. He not ratchet though. He ain't just that ratchet. You gotta dress up nice to go on his show, and they don't be doing nothing. They don't be doing nothing. Nah, they just be going. He going. It's really mostly like relationships. I'm trying to fight, figure out. Yeah, where my unlock daddy the phone and didn't stuff. Wanna. They be like unlock my unlock my baby mama phone and all of those stuff like that. What's up, bro? Bluey went off. Ah oh, man, why are you looking like that? Huh? I can't do nothing about it, JJ. Well, oh that bluey. What came yeah. on after that? Something called Kiff. I, I ain't fooling with that, huh? No, so I tried to put it on SpongeBob, but that's the only other thing. He ain't so. rocking with that SpongeBob whole thing, huh? Let me do the arm. <laughs> <laughs> he don't mess that SpongeBob. Take his shoes off. Don't make no, SpongeBob probably too old for him. Right. I don't know. I wonder if my mama gonna come. Maybe they drinking and dropping in the parking lot. Nah, they probably drinking some water or something. Though. But yeah, that's Turning what we. That's what they, need. they need a black Jerry Springer on Zeus, where they really man that Jose Luis. Jose Luis had the fence in front of him. And come on, Telemundo. They be on there fighting hard like a mug on Jose Luis. They gonna be fighting hard. And you know what? On Jose Luis, you can the the you can fight the audience. What? Hell yeah, they be fighting the, the audience. You know when they be going around and the uh, uh, and they be like uh, interviewing the audience, or the audience get to ask a question to the people on the stage or something. Mm -hmm. You could be in the audience and be like, "Hey, what's up? I I whoop your ass!" And the people in the stage be like, "What's up? Come on, man, let yeah, them go up there. Up. Them boys be up on the stage fight. Or the or the people from the stage go in the audience. They start nosy. fighting. What's up, bro?" He peeping. What'd you see? Huh? Mr. Pointer. Super Pointer. All right, that boy be pointing. That nigga be pointing like a mom. 
Point like a mother, the pointer, a pointer, the pointer. Just... Poke somebody eye out, they too close. I think grandma coming, bro. Yeah, but nah, I don't know, man. We um, that is though the two be conspiracy. I've been thinking, I thought it was gonna be a whole bunch, man. I remember last year they was raving about two, all the new joints. Cause what nothing you'll be tomorrow. looking on Facebook. Everybody was recommending. I don't even be trusting. I don't trust nobody. Uh. I don't trust no Facebook recommendation. Man, because whoever recommended that movie, uh, how what was it called when they robbed the casino and T.I. got that horrible New Orleans accent? You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Y'all remember that movie we watched? I don't even think that was no two movie. movie. It was on Netflix. They robbed the casino. And T.I. was on there. He stayed in like a trailer or something. Oh, and he had a brother or something I don't that know, didn't have an accent? But he had a scar. No, 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 no. That's the movie with Forrest Whitaker and Mike. No, was Forrest Whitaker in that? That's the movie with Mike Epps. Well, he got the accent, <laughs> but his brother don't got the accent. <laughs> his New Orleans accent was trash, too. Tough crowd. You a tough crowd. Tough crowd. Who, me? Yeah. You can't. Everybody you can't even. Everybody can't do no New Orleans accent. I can't. You can't call nobody. You can't call nothing trash though. Because I can call an accent trash. That's it though, but you can't really though, because like That movie really what what movie was that? That was that Forrest Whitaker movie, because he tied them up. I don't remember. Because he had they his had daughter like, or something. They did or the something to his mama or something. The wife. Was it the mama or the wife? They oh, hit her. they did like a hit and run or something. Yeah. And he came. Was that like a, I don't know. I ain't, it was supposed I, to be like a thriller. That wasn't just horrible, but it was cool. Yeah. See. That accent was trash, though. Yeah, man. We ain't got no good. That ain't been nothing good in a minute. I feel like his New Orleans accent sounds like mine. And I mine think you ain't stuck. Good. I think you stuck on. And I feel like. I don't know. I've been saying Joe. Joe no bar low. Because I like reality shows. Not them just super ratchet ones. No, either, it just be, no. Not no. You don't just like reality shows. You be on them the shows. The other shows too. be good. Good Girls was good. Good Girls was good. What With is their that? moms. Tyler they was Perry? watching the m money for that Mexican guy. I don't know. Nah. That was good. You tripping. You were sitting there watching it too. No. That you wasn't. watched a couple with me because it intrigued you. I think the only that which kind of good that you watched. What? That show good. Abbott Elementary. Yeah, the elementary show. They good. Yeah, That's Abbott good Elementary show. real good. Look, somebody say good girls was, was fire. fire. But it wasn't was. like you know what was a good show that was like was it like that you said they was laundering money washing the money yeah first yeah. they robbed the grocery what's store what's the one man with your girl with your roof that's what roof. I was oh Ozark yeah. Ozark was good so what you talking about I be watching good stuff nah but you really I think I put you on Queen Ozark of, no we both started Ozark together nah but I think I had put you on to it no. though we started it together but that was like a recommendation from Blick Block I think anyways but no we had tried watching it before that too and we was like eh, Queen of the South is good you ain't like that I feel like Queen of, was that in Spanish who is that, bro? No, it was the phone. No, somebody leaving a message. I don't think they realized they young. Um, is they leaving a message in Morris Code or something? What you were saying? They driving or something. I don't think they realized the phone didn't hang up. Right, let me see something right quick. Huh, go hang it up right quick. What you just said? <coughs> Queen of the South. Was that in Spanish? No, uh, it's not hanging. I mean, it's not. Answer it and hang it up. Queen of the South was in Spanish. No, it had some Spanish speaking. But what I'm thinking Spanish. about that was in, you know, though, it Narcos. was. Narcos. 
with Pablo Escobar. Yeah, that was in all Spanish. It was all Spanish that in there. Man, listen, that was on Telemundo. I remember that was good. I remember when that you came didn't know out. We watching no good show. Nah, nah, I nah, watched nah. that mug. Did you? Yes, I did. That's a Telemundo show. I remember when that show came out with the Pablo Escobar and they come on Telemundo and yeah, that was right before I I was I was yeah, that was like that was a show that everybody was everybody watched that. Uh where I was at. They'll put that mug on both TV. But yeah, that was good. Uh, the shy, it had kind of lost its way a little bit, but then it picked back up. The shy is pretty good. Thank you. Them powers. <laughs> Who you screaming at? No. No, come on, we gotta pay some old bills.